welcome back to my channel where i review android applications for better user experience so these super android applications which i'm going to show you and yes it's been a while since my last upload but i'm back again so without wasting much time let's get into the video the first application goes by the name adaptive controls and it allows you to set custom system settings for various apps on your phone depending on how you use them this will save a lot of time since you won't have to make the small settings needed to use a particular application so if it is your music player application, you can set custom volume levels for it and even profile settings so do not disturb settings can be made as well. Aside making custom settings based on the app launches, you get routine control where the application also allows you to apply its features based on time and place which is very cool. The app is free, link is in the video description. Open Note is a very functional note-taking application which I came across in December last year and I've been using as my main note-taking application since. Two things I look out for in a note-taking application is if it allows me to organize my notes in a way that I can easily access a particular note and also comes with a clean interface for better experience. You know, since note-taking falls within productivity, then I think the environment to help you stay productive must be clean and not cluttered. So this application really gives me what I need in a note-taking application. With the features of this app, I love the fact that it can allow me to scan images from my gallery or take a photo and the app will extract the text in the photo. Bullet points and checklists are also available. You can customize notes. It's got text editing features. You can set reminders on notes as well. You can view notes per day with a calendar. You can customize the interface and you can also sign in for data backup. Lastly, you can add passcode to prevent unwanted entry. This app is free with no ads and I believe you will enjoy using it. Still on productivity, next on the list is a nice and clean productivity application called To-Do Pad. This To-Do application has a simple and straightforward interface which I love. With the text box at the top, you can enter your task, then you see your list of tasks beneath it. It works just like your notepad on your desk in your home which contains tasks you have to do. Once you are done with any task, you just check it as completed. You can also pin your most important tasks. For the simplicity of this application, I think it is a nice app. So if you want to, you know, try a different to-do application, then check out this one. Keeping links for future access with this application has been an awesome experience ever since I installed it. It is called Brace.to and it is a simple application which you can use to store links of web pages you might want to visit in a later time. What I like about this is you will see the apps icon always show up among the first apps in the share menu and such easy access makes it very convenient to use. Not only browser links, you can store links from any app, YouTube videos and more. With the app interface it is just simple, you can create lists where you can categorize your links, you can add a link Aside from sharing from external source, there is a search icon for easy finding of stored links. It is a free application with no ads. If you want the experience of beautiful material you design in a music player application, then check out this awesome looking offline free music player application. It is called Vanilla Music Player. This app has a solid design overall, works well when it comes to adapting to the system theme or the wallpaper theme. When it comes to functionality, the app provides all the basic features of an offline music player application. You can create new playlists within the app, you have access to your device storage, there is an internal equalizer for audio enhancement, and as I've always said, I really love nice and clean material you designs in applications, so I don't think I'm letting this application go anytime sooner. It is free as I mentioned and the link is in the video description. Next, Wallport. Is a wallpaper application which has become my go-to wallpaper application recently. It got tons of wallpapers and with every relaunch of the app, you get different wallpapers shown to you. My favorite category is the digital arts. There are several categories with several unique wallpapers. Some of them are categorized according to latest trends like the digital arts as I mentioned. You also have YouTubers choice, Apple and others. The user experience of this application really stands out from the others. All the wallpapers are in HD and 4K, crisp and sharp. There are little to no ads, so if you want to try a new wallpaper application, definitely try Wallpot. I'm sure you're going to love using it. 
If you are a lover of Material U designs like I am, then I'm sure you're going to love this next application. This widget on my home screen is from a KWGT widget pack called Snow Cone for KWGT. Currently, it has over 100 widgets which are all designed in Material U theme with the ability to adapt to the color theme of your current wallpaper. It also has templates for KLWP and KLCK for lock screens. It also comes with some wallpapers to match the widgets. Make sure you have the KWGT Pro installed before you can load these widgets onto your home screen. I'm planning on making a free and paid KWGT widgets video so if you'll be interested, let me know down in the comment section and guys if you enjoyed this video, I really wish you would consider subscribing to the channel and also leaving a like and expect more of these best Android apps videos. As always, thank you for watching.